25 questions with Michael Hussey. One bowler that gave you sleepless nights. Dale Stain. Oh, he was just horrible to face. Good pace, good swing. Uh, got me out a few times, so I uh, didn't, didn't enjoy facing him at all. <laughs> Ricky Ponting or MS Dhoni? The better ODI captain. It's a tough one. Uh, I'll, I'll have to say Ricky because I never played one day internationals with MS Dhoni, so uh, I'll go for Ricky. The toughest country to bat in, in terms of conditions? Uh, South Africa. One person in the dressing room who intimidated you? Probably Shane Warne. Such a big personality in the team uh, and um, yeah, he, he was a legend of, of world cricket at the time and so yeah, you're just generally quite quiet around him. <laughs> Your favourite person to chat to about cricket? Probably Murali. Uh, he's just a legend of the game and uh, he knows everything about cricket uh, and he's happy to talk all day about cricket so it's, uh, it's always good fun chatting to Murali. One shot of a colleague you wish you played as well? There was plenty. Um, probably Adam Gilchrist's slog sweep off the spinners. Three batsmen you'd pay any money to watch live, one in each format. Um, <laughs> AB de Villiers in T20. AB de Villiers in one day. <laughs> no, uh, probably Brian Lara in test matches. I'll go Michael Bevan in the one days. One trait that Western Australia's athletes have that other Aussies do not. One trait we have. Uh, probably better at playing the short balls. Uh, cuts and pulls because we come from the wacker where it's nice, fast and bouncy. If you hadn't been a cricketer, what would you have been? I would have been a, a school teacher, a science and maths teacher. No, that's what I did my degree in at university and so uh, yeah, if I wasn't lucky enough to go and play cricket then that's the job I would have had to have done. Uh, I'm glad I ended up playing cricket and not became a teacher though. A cricket skill your brother was better at than you. Oh, he was a much better hitter than me. You know, hitting down the ground and hitting over cover and things like that. He was a very talented player. World Cup winner or Ashes hero? Which tag would you prefer more? Oh, you want both. Um, I'm pretty proud of being a World Cup winner. Uh, I think that's, that's something pretty special, but I'll tell you what, it's pretty level with an Ashes win as well. <laughs> CSK or MI, the team you enjoyed playing for more? CSK. Which current cricketer would you give the title of Mr Cricket to? Current player, Steve Smith. An England player from your playing days that you wish was Australian? Oh, good question. Um, Alistair Cook. One dismissal of yours that you keep thinking about over and over again. Um, probably I was the last man dismissed in an Ashes, a losing Ashes series in 2009. Um, so that's something I don't like to reflect on, but uh, it sort of sticks in my memory. It's not a nice feeling being the last man out to cost Australia the Ashes. One cheat meal you could never give up during your career. I, I'm a sucker for hot chips. I'm happy to have hot chips at any stage of my life. <laughs> An athlete from another sport you'd love to have a drink with? Michael Jordan. The funniest sledge you've received or heard? <laughs> uh, the funniest sledge I've ever heard was uh, I was playing a club game. I was at the non-striker's end. My mate's at the striker's end. And the wicketkeeper was behind him and he was just laying into my friend. He was saying, gee, you're ugly. You are the ugliest batsman I've ever seen. If there was an ugly 11, you'd be captain of the ugly 11. And my mate turned around to the wicketkeeper and said, yeah, I've seen your girlfriend and she's batting number three. <laughs> cricketer, coach or expert, the most challenging job? Oh, being a cricketer is definitely the most challenging. Uh, yes, the pressure, the stress, the anxiety that goes in, the amount of hard work, uh, it's just phenomenal. IPL or Big Bash, the tougher T20 competition to win? Uh, IPL. Well, it's the best competition in the world. Uh, and you get four overseas players, you get access to all the best Indian players, whereas the Big Bash, we get two overseas players, plus we don't get to see a lot of the Australian players, whether they test or one day, is because they're off playing for Australia. So it's definitely the best competition in the world in my book. An emerging player from across T20s, who you think would be a superstar in five years? I'll go for Jason Sanger, a young guy from the Sydney Thunder in the Big Bash. Uh, looks a good player of the future. Uh, he's a batsman, uh, very busy batsman. 
loves batting, loves scoring runs, but uh, I see him being a really good player across all three formats of the game. One teammate you didn't want to share a room with. Brad Hogg. He doesn't stop talking. He talks a lot of rubbish. <laughs> he gets up at five in the morning and I've actually roomed with Hoggy before and in the, before a Sheffield Shield game at five in the morning he was bowling a cricket ball against the wall with no clothes on so that was a pretty horrible sight. One teammate that you would take to a karaoke bar with you for his singing skills. Probably Brett Lee. He loves the sound of his own voice and, and he sings pretty, pretty well. <laughs> One player from another country you would have wanted to see play for Australia. Maybe Murley. That'd be a pretty good tandem going with uh, Warren and Murley together. would be pretty handy. What is your favourite holiday destination? Uh, Maldives. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and leave your comments in the comment section below. Click on the bell icon for notifications.